Hi, this is Shah with LoveToCode.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on Java JDBC. As you know, we're currently working through a series of videos on building a Swing GUI to connect to a database. We're currently at video 12.6, creating a form to add an employee. One of the subscribers is really learning a lot from this video series. And he asked if I could expand on this series and show how to build a GUI form for adding an employee to the database. So here's a shout out to the subscriber who goes by the name of Dashing Man. Thanks for the excellent suggestion. Before we get into coding, let's take a look at a demo of the application. So we'll start our application. Uh, we'll hit the search button. This will give us a list of all employees. Note there's a new button here called Add Employee. This is going to bring up a new form. And we can enter information for the employee, in this case, Peter Atwood. I'll hit Save. The application will tell us, hey, this employee was added successfully. We hit OK. And then we can note in our list, we have Peter Atwood, our new employee who was just added. The demo looks really good, so let's go ahead and put together a to-do list of things that we need to work on. So the first thing we need to do is update our DAO. We'll need to add a method that will handle adding an employee to the database. We'll make use of SQL insert statements for this. Next, we need to create a form for adding employees. This form will have text fields to read the user input. We'll also need to add event handling such that when the user clicks the Save button, that will call the employee DAO method. Finally, we need to tie all this together with the main GUI. We need to add a new button called Add Employee. When the user clicks on the button, then it will show our new Add Employee form. Well, we have our work cut out for us. Let's get started. All right, so let's start in the Employee DAO. What we're going to do in this class is we're going to add a new method called Add Employee. I'll drop the code in for it. So this add employee method will take a parameter called an employee object and we'll use this to insert information into the database. So the first thing we'll do is we'll prepare our statement. We'll say insert employees. We get the column names, first, last, email, salary, and then values and we set up placeholders for those using the question marks. Now we go ahead and we pass in the parameters. So we pass in the employee's first name, last name, email, and salary. And now we execute the SQL statement. So this will send the SQL over to the database and insert the record. All right, so now what we need to do is add our GUI form. So we just right click, we choose new, we choose other, and then we move down to window builder and we select J dialog. So this will create a very basic dialog for us. We'll enter the name, I'll call it add employee dialog, and I'll hit finish. And this will give us the source code view. And then from there, I can click on the design tab at the bottom and I'll see the GUI view. So as you can see, it's a very basic dialog just has an OK and Cancel button in the bottom right hand corner. The first thing I'll do is I'll set the layout for this dialog. So I'll go to Layout and I'll choose J Goody's Form Layout. This is the best layout to use for building forms with tables, I'm sorry, labels and actual uh, text fields. So I'll go ahead and add a label and I'll put it into this grid form. Drop it in there. I'll put the uh, text for it to say first name. Hit Enter. And then I'll grab a text field set it right next to it and I will change the variable name of this text field to be first name text field so that's the actual variable name that I'll use in my Java code when I need to read or set data um, from that form and now I'll just kind of repeat the process for last name email and salary so I'll kind of speed this up and actually I'll just kind of skip ahead and I'll come back once the entire form is complete at the end all right so the entire form is complete uh, looks really good I'll do a couple of things here. I'll just change this OK button. So instead of saying OK, I want it to say Save. Um, for the actual title of this dialog, I want to give it a title called Add Employee, and I'll hit Enter for that. And we should see that updated here on the GUI. Great. Now what I'd like to do is go through and from a Save button, I'll add an Event Handler. So when they click the Save button, I want to actually save the employee. So I'll just call this method save employee. Right now it's not really defined. I'll just create a stub for it and I'll put in some comments just to kind of let you know what we need to do for writing the code here. So I'll just write in some comments. So the first thing we need to do is uh, get the employee info from the GUI. Next we need to save it to a database, close the form dialog, refresh the GUI list, and then show a success message. So that's kind of high level as far as what we want to do with the application. Before I can do that though, I need to have a reference to the uh, DAO and also to the main application. So I'll just drop in some code here. So up top, I'll have the um, employee DAO. 
and I'll also have a reference to the uh, main GUI, the search app, and I'll use this as a constructor when we create this uh, add employee dialog. All right, so now we can get into writing some real code here. So for this save employee, I need to get the info from the GUI. So I need to read the first name text field, last name text field, email text field, so on. And with this information, then I can create an employee object. So that's a Java object that I've created. And now I can use this information to actually save it to the database. Uh, so I'll drop in some code here and I'll walk through it in a second. Okay, so now to save, we say employee DAO add employee. We close the dialog by disposing it. We call a method refresh employee to refresh the view, and then we show our success method. Let me go ahead and clean up some of these errors here in the um, application. And for that refresh employees view, it's not really created yet. I'll just create a stub for it, and that's in our main GUI. So we just have just a basic stub here for it. Um, I'll come back to this in a second. What I want to do is move up to my top GUI, and I'm going to add a panel at the bottom that's going to hold a button. And that's our add employee button. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'll say add employee. And then now I'll add an event handler to it. So I'll say add event handler action, action performed. And here, this is where I'm going to create the dialog for that new dialog we just created. And from there, I will call dialog set visible to true. Now I can move back to this refresh employees view. And all we do here is we simply just get a list of all employees. We create a model based on that, and we set the model. That's just like what we've done in all the previous uh, demos so far. So nothing new there. All right, so this looks really good. So let's save it, and let's run it. So when we run it, we just do a search. This will give us a list of all employees. We click on Add Employee. This will show us our new form. We'll enter information for Peter Atwood and his salary. We'll hit Save. Uh, this will actually call the DAO, insert it into the database will pop up our success dialog and also refresh the GUI. So there it is. So we're successful in adding a new employee using a form. Good job. Great, so that wraps up our video for building a form to add new employees to the database. Please subscribe to our channel to view more videos on Java. Click the thumbs up to like our video. Also visit our website lovetoco.com to download the Java source code used in this video.